How's it going, guys? It is 4.37 a.m., 23rd of March here in Japan. Past level question for electrolytes for step one and two. Nearly identical question shows up in one of the two CK forms. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, and mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 64-year-old man, four-month history of loose stools, swelling of his ankles. He drinks a pint of vodka daily. Laboratory studies show an MCV of 108, normal range 80 to 100. So you can have a non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia due to alcoholism, sideroblastic anemia. You have someone who doesn't give a fuck about the specifics. You just need to know when you see a high MCV, it's not necessarily B9 or B12 deficiency. You can get this in alcoholism. Which the following combinations of electrolytes and mill equivalents per liter most likely be seen in this patient. So when we look at these answer choices here, it can be a very fast clip here. Coming to the chase, all right? So this patient has diarrhea. That's our starting point. So in diarrhea, you need to know instantaneously that we have hypokalemia. Now, the US simile will ask this in a variety of ways. We only have two answers here where there's hypokalemia. So 3.5 to 5 is our normal value for potassium. So we're only looking at choices A or D. So additionally, we would have a high chloride if they ask you. They don't give a fuck about the numbers for chloride, 95 to 105, but they'll give you arrows. So you want a down arrow for potassium, you want an up arrow for chloride, it's due to cellular shift, okay? And I'm asking you watching this clip right now, would you expect your bicarbonate to be up or down if you have diarrhea? The answer is it's gonna be decreased, okay? So diarrhea causes a metabolic acidosis, holy shit, not an alkalosis, it's a normal anion gap, okay? It's not part of mud piles. So let's look at the answer choice again. We said A or D. Well, which one is it going to be? Now, there's two ways to go about this. One, you could be aware that sometimes, not mandatory, sometimes you can get hyponatremia due to diarrhea. We merely lose sodium in the stool. Okay, so the answer is A here. The other way to answer it is, well, as I just fucking said, it's a normal, not a high anion gap metabolic acidosis. So the way we're going to get a high anion gap is when we take chloride and bicarb, we take that number, we subtract it from sodium, and if it's greater than 12, that's a high anion gap. So if we start with a lower number for sodium, then we're just going to have a lower anion gap in comparison to choice D. This is the same fucking question that's on 2CK and BME. So if you think this is hyper simple or think this is weird, don't take it up at me. Take it up the NBME exam. So in, in short, recapitulation for diarrhea for the moment, hypokalemia hyponatremia sometimes with a normal anion gap, metabolic acidosis decreased by carbonate. And then in comparison, Yosemite loves vomiting and diuretic use, which for vomiting and diarrhea, sorry, what the fuck am I saying right now? For vomiting and diuretic use, those two, you're going to have hypokalemia, hypochloremia, metabolic alkalosis, high bicarbonate. You know the deal, make to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.